the Inn of Chicago, just half a block from Chicago's prime shopping area, has been operating as a hotel for almost 100 years. But now it has a new role as one of the city's migrant shelters. Currently, there are nearly 11,000 migrants living in the city's 23 shelters. But Chicago officials have now begun the process of evicting some of them in a bid to ease pressure on overstretched resources. Migrants have been given a 60-day shelter-stay limit. Maria is from Venezuela. She and her eight-year-old daughter arrived in Chicago in December. She says she's been told they have to leave by April 28th. We are afraid when they make us leave because, like me, there are many people in there that have little children. Many, many families that after they leave here, they will have nowhere to go and we are afraid that they will make us leave to be homeless. The city says families with children can receive renewable 30-day extensions and there are other exemptions. Those who don't qualify for one will need to find other accommodations or go back to the city's landing zone for newly arrived migrants and request placement in another shelter. I meet Stephanie. She says she had to leave her home in Mexico with her children as a cartel wanted to kill them. She believes speeding up the work permit process would allow migrants to care for themselves. It is very difficult to find a job if we don't have a work permit. It's not like we want to leave our homes. It's that we want to have a dignified life. Expediting work permits has the support of Andre Vazquez, a Chicago alderman who also heads up the city's Committee on Immigrant and Refugee Rights. He wants President Joe Biden to sign an executive order that would give migrants the right to work. Rather than being viewed by some as an economic burden, they'd actually be an economic benefit, right? We would see folks that become taxpayers that are then helping grow the economy here. Um, I think it all makes common sense. The extra shelters were set up following the decision by Texas Governor Greg Abbott to bus thousands of migrants to cities, including Chicago and New York. Since August 2022, Chicago has received more than 37,000 migrants. Although enforcement of this new policy has so far only impacted a small number of migrants, evictions are expected to pick up and could include entire families by the summer. While the fallout around this policy raises questions around finding long-term solutions to address migrant housing. When you have folks who can't get work, can't get rental assistance, what you're doing then is increasing the homelessness problem we're seeing in Chicago uh, with folks who have a large, uh, significant language barrier um, and are going to be out in the streets. And so I believe it's the wrong direction to go in. The clock is ticking for migrants at shelters like this one. Many, once again, now face an uncertain future. Dan Williams, CGTN, Chicago.